3, 2, 1, let's go! Dragon Ball Super Broly came out in January for UK cinemas and had a limited release. I saw it and loved it. The animation, the story, the characters, all so good. The plot follows the titular Broly battling Goku and Vegeta featuring Bulma, Whis and Frieza. Director Tatsugan Nagamine brings his top tier talent with the redesigns for the characters and worlds, especially the fight scenes. As someone who has been bored by the last few power-ups in Dragon Ball, this film satisfied me thoroughly and don't get me started on Gogeta. I finished that isekai with the really stupid name and I really enjoyed it. The production made it look better than its original manga, especially in its character designs which boosts it up for me. Adds to list of actually good isekai. Mob Psycho Season 2 continued to impress with its heartfelt story and brilliant animation from my favourite studio Bones. So Kaguya Summer Lovers War was pretty funny. The series produced by A1 Pictures and based on a manga, the amount of production polish complements the jokes perfectly. Not since the legendary Nichijou has a series been this funny while being this well produced. The basic plot follows two high schoolers in a battle to make each other confess their feelings for each other. This leads to a death note style of combat with specific situations and hilarity ensues. Also it has quite possibly my favourite ending sequence of all time. The promised Neverland is terrifying. I don't want to spoil the plot and just recommend that you watch the series. It's good but you just need to see it. I will say it has my favourite opening of the year so far. Now for the number one isekai anime of the year, the one that stands above the rest and was so entertaining that I came back every week excited. Isekai Quartet is another contender for funniest anime of the year. The crossover between Konosuba, Overlord, ReZero and Tony the Evil is full of great interactions between characters. The bright colourful animation and character designs work for this type of series which I may be talking about in another video so I'll leave it there. Can we get Rumuru in season 2 please? I also want to give a shout out to YouTuber RarityFangirl31VA for her manga drama of Yu-Gi-Oh! Art 5. These read through the plot of the manga with superb voice acting along with the sound editing for the dueling action. As a massive Yu-Gi-Oh! fan I can recommend her videos. This video was inspired by Super Eye Patch Wolf so if you would like to see more videos like this one please comment down below.